Okay, so these these are Nadine raising her own chickens. How are you going, Nadine? Nadine raising her own chickens here. You know, these chickens are organic. You know, and you can see everything is there for them. What do you mean, Nadine? So, are these chicken ready? Is, 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 is killing, Nadine? Yeah. How long left? Only two weeks. Two weeks? All right. Nadine, man. Two weeks, Nadine. No, man. Can't kill her, man. These need longer than two yeah. weeks. Well, These are another four weeks. Oh, you want chicken head? Uh, I want some of the feet as well. I want some of the feet for curry, man. Curry feet. Oh, uh, yeah. I love some chicken feet. And Nadine. I mean, Nadine Farmers want chicken, you know. There you go. I was going to buy something. I mean, Nadine. Nadine, I run our own farm. I mean, as I said, this is where I grew up. This is the yard I play in. This is the yard I play in. This is the Nilsbury tree as well. I used to eat Nilsbury off this tree. As again, there you go. They're small Nilsbury. They're just. These Nilsbury are not ready to ripe yet. Maybe a year time. So these Nilsbury, when they get uh, ripe, they're very big, you know. I remember when we used to grow up, we used to pick Nilsbury off here. And, uh, you, you know, but yeah, this is where I've grown up. There's a lot of fruit tree on this property. Avocado, we have lime, Nadine's raising chicken there. So, you know, there's an Aki tree there again, blossoming, as I show you in that video. So there's Aki there as well. Aki is blossoming, you, you know, never out of food on here. You just need some flour or some bread. But, you know, mango tree there. This is the yard where we grown up. We grown up in this yard, so our playground. My playground, you know, the backyard here. But it wasn't grass. It was like, you know, hard dirt. We have to sweep it in the morning. You know, there. I think that was the kitchen there. Not there anymore. You know. And Cersei. This is Cersei. This bitter bush here is Cersei. We have this here. And here you go. That's a berry from the Cersei. That can eat as well. But I wouldn't eat it now. Because I hadn't eaten it for years and years. It come on the Cersei. You know. It, that means Cersei is ready to use the boil tea in. Look at that. Yeah. So that's a Cersei. I like my Cersei tea, man. It's very good for you, very bitter. I think I might bring back some to the UK as well. But it's best to dry it in the sun so it doesn't get sour on you when you get there. The green leaf and that. But yeah, the Cersei here as well. This yard is very, very, you know, fruitful. And we have cocoa as well. That's cocoa there. Cocoa leaf there. It's similar to rhubarb, but it's cocoa. You might look at it out and think it's rhubarb, but it's not rhubarb, it's cocoa. Yeah. So, so this is a lime tree. Oh, and it's got a lime on there. So there you go. That's a lime there, you see that? That's a lime tree. So again, we don't even have to have a, to even buy a lime, because we have it on the property, we have it on the land. So you see the lime, you see the chicken, you see avocado, you see banana, you see the yellow yam. You know, it's very, very fruitful and that's just what you, you can get on this land. That's the lime tree there. But I don't think it, it's lime is in season now. But anyway, I still have one on where I can show you the actual lime on there. And there you go. It's have a lime on there. One green lime. Maybe I could mix this, you know, today some sugar there's one lime there yeah all i need is some sugar actually i'm gonna be making a lime juice today i made a cool air yesterday so yeah there you go that's planting there as i said the planting doesn't get yellow until it fit and ready to eat so that's green planting there you can use that for fufu you can cook that you can fry that you can use that for dumpling 
but mainly it can be used for fufu as well. Also, you can fry the green one, but I'd rather to fry the yellow one. So there you go. That's a big bunch of plant in there. I wish I could get some of this planting before I go back to England. I think I should make some planting chips from that. I'll make them with dumplings. But here you go, there's planting there. But because it hasn't ripe yet, it's still green on the tree. That's the tree there. All of that is planting. That one you tap, they're just bearing as well. So all of that is planting. And there's a coconut tree there as well growing. Coconut and banana growing almost together. There you go. Everywhere is just fruitful. Again, here we have more cocoa. See, but well, it will look like a rhubarb, but it's not rhubarb. And here we got uh, uh, what we call lemongrass. This is lemongrass. Lemongrass that is, but we call it fever grass here. But you know, to you it's known as lemongrass, but we call it here fever grass. Just boil the water, put it in there, get some sugar, and your tea is ready. Fever grass, otherwise known as lemongrass. And that's it. And this is a farmer mint as well. This is farmer mint as well. It's good for upset stomach. If you have an upset stomach, you can boil that. We used to drink it um, for tea when we eat too much fruit and we barely get upset. We used to boil that and mint. A small amount of sugar. Just a sugar. And then it's fine. Add a bit of sugar to it and it's fine. So it's a kind of mint. Yeah, we used to eat, I have to drink this tea after eating too much mango and all of these things. There you go, we even have orange here as well. Oranges on the line as well. There you go, orange there as well. This was plum by the cliff. Oh, look at that one, Aaron. Wow. Artinese, man. Mm. No, neighbor food. I don't know what kind of orange that it is, but it, it looks like some I buy from Aldi. I buy some of them oranges from Aldi in the UK and they're very, very sweet. They came from, I think, in South Africa. They come from South Africa. They're really, really sweet. So yeah, why not? Came all the, came all the way from Florida to Jamaica to pick an orange off the tree. So that's my brother Aaron. He's from Florida, US. So he came to Jamaica. You know, because his sister-in-law did pass away, so he's here as well, supporting the family. He's got a pear that just drop off of the tree around there. This is not a pyramid, avocado. Oh, well, yes, avocado, sorry. That's an avocado, so that's his brother, Aaron there, yeah? Yeah, I'm coming to Florida soon, yeah, when I get back to the UK and, you know, ready to move again, yeah? So, that's an orange there. Wow. And there's more orange here as well. There's more orange on the tree as well. There's another one here as well. There you go. There's two oranges on here. Am I allowed to pick one of these uh, oranges, Nadine? Yeah, but that's not Oh, that's not ripe yet? Uh, uh, so that's two oranges there. Another orange there. Wow. So you see, it, again, this land is very fruitful. There's a lot of stuff on here. Yeah. So you got orange, you got coconut, you got banana, show your lime as well. Planting, needsberry, coconut, breadfruit. I show you the breadfruit as well. You, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the land here, man. It's very fruitful. I think I was really lucky to grow up on this land with so many fruit trees on there. Mango trees, sweet sap. You, you know, this is the same mint again where we had was to boil and drink if we eat too much mango or we eat too much needsberry you know it give us upset stomach we had to drink that butch yeah a little bit of sugar in there you know all of that we have here man you know even the aki tree as well you know i'm sure in the aki tree on the other side of the land there so yeah big brother aaron is here all the way from florida you know to support the family so you know his sister-in-law passed away so we're all here um, you know, celebrating, uh, uh, supporting our brother, and celebrating life as well because, you, you know, we're still here, you know. This land is very, very rich, man. I think we have sweet sap around there as well. 
here and pick uh, and my sweets up it's not really that hundred percent but at least you can see what a sweet up is you know we used to eat this for breakfast in the morning oh, just right. go around and raid the tree and we get the fruit here so if i opened it you can see i've just squeezed it and opened it and that's what the inside look like very milky and white so in the morning if you have a few sweets up you're good and drink some water you know it's very healthy yeah but there's a bigger one in the top of the tree there i can't see it on the camera so maybe uh, maybe not being gonna put the, uh, the baby down and then um, not being gonna put the baby down and pick the, the sweet up for me there's more coconut there as well coconut everywhere on this land everywhere you get um, coconut come to daddy come to daddy come to daddy come to daddy you can see again back to the front run here Again, more coconut, more coconut. This is an Adin house. I mean, an Adin. See it? More coconut. Aaron holding the baby. I mean, Aaron hold the baby. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna bring back a baby to Florida with you, yes? <laughs> ah, hello, hello, CC. How are you? Hi, CC. CC. <laughs> Uh, oh the sun is shining man you can see it you know look at that skies are getting blue nadine just picked this one off of the tree because i was busy looking at the baby i didn't see so this one come from in that tree there that's a sweet sub tree and this one came from there this should arrive maybe by friday before you know I leave maybe before I leave the shoes arrive. At least we have a sweet up. At least I'll have a sweet up. Sissy, you're sitting down by Uncle Aaron. <laughs> Man, the sky is so blue. Wow, it is so pretty, man. Look at that. It's even the rain is gonna fall, but even then, look at the color of the sky. It's really bright. Coconut trees are there. You know, everything. I'm taking back as much as I can some of these back to England. So when I get there, I can, you know, oh yeah, I was there, man. It's not in planting. Look at that. The sky is a blue. Here in the feeding CC, I mean. Let me hear it. Feed CC, yes. Mm -hmm. I came right up on CC. No, take the other camera. Uh, 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 put, put this CC. Uh, Aaron feeding the baby under the hackberry tree. This is what hackberry is. When we used to go to school, we used to catch these berries and eat them. Yeah. You know, I haven't had one since I come, but everyone having them. We used to rush from school to go underneath the tree and pick them up. Because when they drop, they're very sweet. A very sweet fruit there, you know, and it's ripening now. There's a lot underneath the tree. You want to give her um, ice water? There's a lot underneath the tree. There they are. There. There's a lot of them underneath the tree. We call them hackberry. I don't know why. Do you know why they be called uh, hackberry? These fruits. Yeah. Why? Because they, they, they used to try to tie the pig under there. All oh, right, okay. So, so my bigger brother said, uh, and these little sweet berries here, they used to feed the pig. And what they'll do, they'll tie the pig underneath the tree, and they don't have to feed the pig because the pig will continue eating as soon as they fell in off the tree. And you're right, because here they are, underneath the tree. There they are, they're underneath the tree everywhere. Yeah, they're underneath the tree everywhere you can look. You can see them. Look. Here they are, they're underneath the tree. So if there was a pig tied underneath this tree now, the, the pig would be eating up all of these. And you can see, I'm picking them up. 
Yeah, you can see I'm picking them up and there they are. So that's why they call it a hogberry because they used to tie the pig under here and that's it for the pig because it has food dropping. You just have to be patient and wait on them. So that's hogberry there, yeah? Hogberry. I used to eat them as well, but I haven't eaten it since I come back in Jamaica. So there you go, this is some of the um, hackberry as well, what I showed you. And I find out the reason why they call a hackberry. My brother told me why they call it hackberry, because back in the days, there's no feeding for the pig, so they would tie the pig underneath the tree of the hackberry, and the pig will continue to eat that show uh, the day. So that would be the pig food for the day. You know, that's why they call it hackberry. I used to eat them when I used to go to school, but since I come back to Jamaica, I haven't eaten any. But yeah, they were really sweet as well. Yeah, so that's the name for the hackberry. Okay. So now uh, that's the carrot there. I'm going to go into the carrot as well for the carrot cake. Me and Sonia are going to make a carrot cake today. So first we're going to grate the carrot. I've already washed them. I've already washed them and peeled them. They're just ready to grate. So I'm going to do a carrot cake today. So we're going to grate the carrot first. Yeah. <laughs> 